Okay, so we're gonna look at another hybrid picking idea now, which is really nice and I think outlines the chords really, really well. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the E chord and we're gonna use the third finger of our left hand to push this F sharp note, which is uh, seventh fret on the B string, up a tone, like that. And then we're gonna use the little finger, the pinky of our left hand, and the second finger of our right hand, to just catch that note like that. And that's got a real nice kind of country, country rock sort of sound. Now, what you may be noticing there, that by bending this F sharp to a G sharp and then putting this B at the top, is actually forming, okay, the third and fifth of an E chord. And then if we've got an E in the bass, that basically makes up the whole triad. Okay, so again, we can be staccato with this lick. In other words, we can cut off using the palm muting from our right hand. Or we can let it ring. And what I like to do, uh, I like to do all that stuff, but I like to kind of do the staccato thing. I like to let it ring, but I like to shake it when it's up there. Okay, now I use a tremolo on my guitar, which uh, if you've got a floating system, sometimes it can make these things sound a bit odd. So by, Making a, you know, adding a bit of shake, rattle and roll to it. It just makes it sound really nice, I think. Okay, so that's the one for the E chord. Now we're gonna do the A chord next. So we're gonna bend a B to a C sharp, 12 to 14 on the B string. And we're gonna catch that high E above it. Back to E. Okay, then we're gonna move up and we're gonna bend this C-sharp note up to a D-sharp note. And catch that F-sharp above it on the 14th fret high E string. So basically we're bending 14B to 16B and then we're catching that 14 high E above it. So we're outlining B, outlining A, outlining E. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little demonstration uh, and just give you an idea of what this stuff sounds like in a real situation. Okay, so pretty basic use of the lick, but now I'm gonna extend it. Uh, and this is something that I do a lot, and I hear a lot of players do this. I bend up the B string and then do a sort of bend while using that high E note. Okay, now that B string is not really being bent to a specific place, it's just kind of being let down. and then shaking it, okay? So just try and get that sound in your head. Now I wanna add another element to this lick as well, uh, and this is super useful, I think, for all sorts of rock and country and blues playing, um, is we do the lick as we've learned it so far, but then let this B string down, and then play the root of the chord, which in this case is E. And then we're gonna also use this C sharp note as a kind of jumping off point. So the whole notes are basically, you know, the ones we've learned so far. Adding the root and then jumping off from this sixth fret on the G string. And you probably noticed by now that it's basically around this shape, okay? For those of you who know the caged system, that would be called the C shape, I believe. Okay. 
So uh, just another little lick there that I use. And then what I do is I go uh, use the finger, the second finger on the right hand. Okay, and a little extension of that is I'll pull off from five, sorry, from seven to five on the B. Then I'll go six, seven, six. And then finish off on that five. Okay. Okay, let's mix it up, play a little solo and see if it can uh, make a bit of sense. Okay, so hopefully what you heard me do there was putting the shapes to good use and adding those extra notes that we discussed previously. Okay, I'm just gonna add one more little passage uh, to this piece before we move on, and it's this. What we're gonna do is everything we've done so far, but now we're gonna slide up, okay? Start on the E, slide up from the F sharp to G sharp. It's gonna be seven to nine on the B. And then we're gonna catch that B on the high E string 7th fret with the second finger of the right hand. Then we're going to slide down and play that E. So. A. Let's do a little demonstration, and I think we've uh, covered that subject quite nicely. Okay, we're gonna stick with the E rock and roll tune just for a little bit longer. Uh, and this next lick, I think really outlines the relevance of the hybrid uh, picking technique versus regular picking. In other words, what I'm trying to say is you can play this lick with regular picking, but I think it would be much harder than using the hybrid picking technique. Okay, we're gonna start off on the E chord and the lick sounds like this. I'll just play it first and then explain. So what we're basically doing is going from 11 to 12 to 13 on the G string, and this kind of outlines the third of the chord. Okay, so we're just going from that uh, F sharp note up to the G sharp note. Then what we do with our second finger is we skip across the B string and play the, 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 the root of the chord B and E. Then we play the first part of the lick again. Then again. Okay, and these notes that we're putting uh, after we play the lick every time are E, 12th fret high E. Then we play the seventh, okay, which is D, 10th fret high E. So we have. Then we go to the sixth, which is on the 14th fret B string, C sharp note. Uh, and then we play the B, which is the fifth of the chord finally. So we outline the chord really nicely. Uh, 
and then we follow the other chords in exactly the same way. So we take it down to the A. Now I'm sure by now you've sort of worked out that it's the same thing in a different position, but uh, just to give you the heads up on this one, we're going from B to C sharp, so that's four, five, six on the G. And that's gonna be sort of the, the main part of our lick that repeats between the other notes. And then we have A on the uh, fifth fret high E. We have the seventh being G on the third fret high E. And then we have the sixth being the seventh fret B. And then the fifth of the chord, fifth fret on the B string. And then for the B chord, we just move the whole thing up a tone. Down. Up to E. Now this is something that I probably would use, you know, once around all the changes or, you know, might vary it around with some of the other stuff we've done. But uh, it is a really, really good demonstration of how well hybrid picking works, because I think... Although you can see it is doable with the pick. Using the hybrid picking technique, I think, is definitely easier and you can build more speed on it. And this is a good tempo to start because it's not too slow, it's not too quick, uh, and it will just get you in the pocket and started on this type of thing. Okay, so there you go. Nice little lick, fits around the chords very well and demonstrates the hybrid picking technique perfectly.